So hello and welcome back. I think we'll look at the new one last. Uh, two Gumadis coins of banknotes. And in today's video, we've got a bunch of Egyptian banknotes and we're going to look at the security features in the UV. So that's only one. Another security feature is the watermark. Uh, we have a security thread and also we have holographic features on the current and they're mostly on plastic banknotes so i've got my trusty little lamp little torch should i say so you just press it once and it comes up with the uv so the oldest banknotes from the 1940s these are five piastres pretty expensive once again in the 40s they actually didn't have uv on banknotes okay it's a lower denomination this is 2002, this is 25 piastres. And it does have some UV in the security thread. Not much because it's a low value banknote, but you can see uh, it does show up. And it's probably just the denomination, it's hard to read. Okay, here we have the 50 piastres, 2008. Currently, these are coins. Once again, the security thread does have some UV. It's going to show up on this video. Okay, there you go. Obviously, it's poorly printed, but the UV is actually on. There you go. You can see it. So, that seems to be the only... Oh, no. On this one, is actually showing up quite clearly. That's 2003. So different years of printing, obviously, have, and it says Egypt in the UV. Uh, different amounts of UV. So this one has barely any. 2008, obviously the currency have fallen quite a bit. But on this 2003, it looks like we have a, a lot better features in the center. So that's the actual security thread. That's basically it. And another so 2006 for a 50 piastres. And once again, you can see in the center of the security thread. And that's about it. Okay, we get on to the one pound. And the first thing you'll notice on the one pound is that one side has a mosque, Islamic architecture. This is 2016. And there's no UV on that side. And the other side is something about ancient Egypt. It has cartouche, so this would describe two pharaohs, probably a pharaoh and his queen. Whenever an e, the inscription is like that, it means it's naming a pharaoh. Okay, so no UV on the one pound. Five pound just has uh, fibres. So it looks like we've got blue and yellow. And also we had the security thread. Uh, yeah, and that's in Arabic, just says five pounds. Okay, and on the back of it, you can quite clearly see the security thread is lighting up. So it looks like it goes this way. And then you got the five. So that's basically it for the uh, five pounds. Okay, here we have an older five pounds. So this is uh, 1987. And do have the watermark, Tutankhamun. We don't have any UV features in that one. KD 10 pound, and this was from 1986. Also, no UV features. And the 20 pound, this one is from... So with this one, you need to take the first and the last one for the date. Okay, so that's 1982. And there's no UV features on that one. Okay, then we have this one's from 2017. And once again, you can see it has fibers and also this central security thread. So we've got two security threads. We've got one going down that has UV, another one which is just holographic. And on the back, you can see quite clearly uh, the 
center thread which has UV and that's not bad it's quite a nice design banknote and then we have an older so banknote of one pound this is from 1978 obviously a larger banknote it had more value back then uh, it's like Abu symbol and the UV and the last banknote that we have is a current 10 pound banknote so this was introduced alongside the uh, 20 pounds and the first thing you'll notice is that the entrance has a UV which is quite decorative with the Islamic elements as well as the serial number and that's basically it being equivalent to about 50 cents I wouldn't they probably didn't put too much focus on the UV in this banknote uh, the high value denominations so the current highest is uh, 200 pounds probably has a lot more UV features okay in the back we have the pharaoh as well as the pyramid and no UV features so pretty much this along with the Cook Islands is one of the better UV features that I've actually seen so yeah but it doesn't change anyway I hope this helps you with your banknote collecting. Uh, let me know what you think. Which country with UV features you actually have seen that is actually a lot more elaborate. Because of course I'm pretty sure there are some out there. Anyway, thank you very much. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.